I feel like things were put in my way. So things were put uh, on the road. So I had this atheist friend who like really challenged me on some things who was like, hey, you know, like, why are you that? Why are you identifying with that? You could be like all these different things. There's all these people all around the world who believe all these different things. So why are you this very specific thing? And was just like really challenging me on this, on this conversation of authenticity. And, and, you know, saying to me, well, there's a lot of people doing that. Like, you don't have to do that just because a lot of people are doing that. You don't have to do that just because somebody told you you have to do that. There are options. And then I had, you know, like my spouse had been done with the church for a while and didn't really tell me because I was still like really trying to be invested because I thought that that was my only option. And that's the thing, options. When you don't, when you're not taught that you have options, this is nothing against me when like my parents are amazing. You know, everybody's amazing. It's just when you're, when you're programmed to believe that you don't have any other options, and then you start programming yourself, you start that feedback loop of thinking that you don't have any options and that that's the only way that you somehow magically found the right way. Oh my God, I found it, right? <laughs> then, yeah. then you start thinking that, you start thinking that that's it. And what I'd like to put forth um, is that look at everything happening in the world. Look at all the heinous things that have happened in history, right? So think about it, right? So source is holding all of this, right? It's this big algorithm, it's this mathematical perfection that's always ebbing and flowing and working itself out, right? Some of us see it from a fate standpoint that everything's already fixed. Some of us see it as a sort of non-determined free will sort of thing, right? It could be anything. And we find ourselves fixed in this state of focus called a human life, right? And we're seeing things linear. We have this thing called time as humans we like abide in it right that's like our doctrine that's our religion it's time right oh my god i don't have enough oh god oh that is, god. you're so right that is the one overarching human religion yeah yeah, yeah. that is the overarching thing yeah. everything is time people you know destroy themselves over time right and so if you think about all the things that have encompassed you know you think about like the different types of slavery that have happened in the world the different wars that have happened you think about you know nuclear weapons like you think about all this really horrible stuff right Okay, so source is holding all that. Source has facilitated the partition on which this game is being played, right? This school, this, you know, simulation, if you will, that we go into to have these different experiences and that we go into to hurt each other and to, to get hurt and to get, you know, get, you know, let's get screwed up. You know, like, it's like this, it's like this weird thing that we're in. And then, you know, when people come back from their NDEs, they talk about how, you know, or come back from your psychedelic experience, you talk about how, oh, wow, this is just a part of it. This is how it goes. We're feeding all this information. We're feeding all this knowledge into the collective. And we're all becoming smarter because of it. And so I think a lot of that stuff has happened. A lot of these bad things have happened are horrible, absolutely horrible. But think about this. Your God is facilitating all of it. Mm -hmm. So that makes me think that when people say something like, okay, God is good, uh, that's very human terminology. That's a very, you know, level one sort of understanding of what God is. But there are things like even in the Christian Bible that are like, well, who knows the mind of God? Who knows what God is? You don't know. See, the fact of the matter is that, okay, so when you're outside of the body, you're in source form, you're in a soul form, you know, and you're on thetic form, then you probably know everything. People have said that, you know, people have had those experiences where, oh, yeah, I just knew everything, you know, when I got out of this, the weight of this body. But, you know, in general, it doesn't seem like this experience is designed to be this, this only, just only a, like a beautiful, peaceful thing. It seems like it's this experience is trying to create character and trying to, and trying to, you know, bring out, you know, the best and trying to evolve what this soul human connectivity could potentially be. 